Hi, my name is Tim Gray. I'm the e-learning coach at Center Grove High School. And today I'm going to be discussing quizzes.com with you and what an awesome way it is to make quizzes and to engage your students using technology. So quizzes.com allows you to create quizzes where students can compete with one another or they can do the quiz on their own. It has an exciting interface and it has a really cool and engaging way of, of showing memes and leaderboards and things like that. So in order to get started and for you as the teacher to create your own quiz, you're going to need to actually use a desktop or a laptop in order to create your quiz. Uh, you can also use your tablet, but you do need to go to the web based. You can't use the application to uh, create your quiz. So you're going to want to go to get started. And if it's your first time going to quizzes, you're going to go to sign up. I'm going to go to login since I have already created an account. And this is the main page of quizzes.com. So the first thing you're going to see is featured quizzes. So just like Kahoot, you can choose from pre-made quizzes. Um, you can search through ones that are featured for that month. You can also go to the most played quizzes, um, the most recently played quizzes. You can even search for pre-made quizzes um, based on your curriculum and your grade level, elementary, middle school, and high school. Uh, you can create your own quizzes from scratch. So let's say that I want to create my own quiz, just so we can get a look at how to create questions in quizzes. And let's say I want to make my quiz over Africa, which is a topic that I frequently taught about. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add a new question. Now, all the questions are going to be multiple choice answers. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to type my first question. Um, where is the Sahara Desert? Is it in North Africa, South Africa, Central Africa or West Africa. And I'm going to need to mark one of those answers as correct. And I can even import images, which is something really awesome. So I can upload an image from my computer or I can upload an image from a URL. I can cancel that and I can find images and put them in there. Now, when I'm finished, I'm just going to click finish. It's going to ask me to select my grade, grade range. So let's say I want to go 9 to 12. It's going to want me to select a topic. And I'm going to finish my quiz. and I have created my quiz. Now it's gonna want me to add images to everything to make it look cooler. So let's look at some of uh, my quizzes that I've created over the years. Here's one over the three religions of Southwest Asia. So you see that this is what a finished quiz would look like. Now, if I'm finished my quiz and I'm ready to present it to my class, I have one of two options that I can do. I can play it live, which basically means that this is now a sort of like a game for my students. So I have all these options. I want to jumble the order of which so each student is going to have the quiz on their uh, own machine. It's not going to be like a hoot where it presents in front of the room and then the kids have um, options on their screen. They're all going to have something different on their screens. They're all going to have the same questions that you put in it, but it's going to jumble up the order, the answers, 
Um, if you wanted to show them the answers, you can have that. Sometimes if I wanted to make this an actual quiz, I would turn that off. Um, you can do the entire quiz review at the end, or you can turn that off. Now the leaderboard is going to show if you want this to be sort of like a game, then the students will see a leaderboard of uh, all the students in the class that are taking the quiz at that time. And then the question timer, you can turn that on and off. So it can be as fun or as personal, as collaborative or as personal as you want to make it. And then let's say that I would rather give this to my students as homework. I can use the homework option to set a day and time that I wanted to have my students complete this by. Now the thing about it is with this option is that you cannot uh, prevent your students from taking it more than once. So if they want to take it more than once, they can. It will give you the uh, grades of the students based on the top score. So if I want to look and see how my students did on it, I'm going to collect the data of my students. I go here and I look for completed quizzes. And let's just use this one. And I'm going to go to players. And it's going to have the names of my students along with the score that they got on that quiz. So it's a great way of collecting data. I can even print out those or I can download them as an Excel file and actually save that to, to have that as an Excel file to look at later. And I can look at my questions here. So using quizzes is not only fun for the students, but I think it's easy for the teachers. It can be a visually engaging and interactive thing. And I think it's a great way to collect data as well. So thank you for your time. Again, my name is Tim Gray. I'm the e-learning coach at Center Grove High School. And if you have any questions, please contact me at grayt at centergrove.k12.in.us. Thanks a lot.